Hello, Doc. What's happening over there? Mr. Kelly on board. You're sending our markets crazy this afternoon. Everything seems to be going in gold and silver. Well, how far do you expect prime rates to go? Mm. Well, that would depress the economy and keep us all protected. Right, to speak to you on Monday. Doc says they're talking of the prime rate going over 20%. We'll be late, Daddy. Well, that's a near charity do. In any case, Her Royal Highness will have so many hands to shake. She'll forgive us. Karen? No, nothing. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Daddy, we really will be late. Judy, Judy, Mr. Kelly. Oh, here we are. You're perfect dots, and Arthur. He does all the jobs around here. The rest of us don't have time to do them. Then uh, perhaps you should introduce us. Huh? <clears throat> Arthur Price. I'm uh, very pleased to meet you. You must be new here. Well, uh, actually, it'll be six years on Monday. You train a girl to be a perfect PA and she goes off and gets married. You're not going to get married, are you, Arthur? Uh, no, I wasn't thinking of it just yet, sir, no. Hmm. Ready, my dear? Yes. I'm just planting some polyanthus, Arthur. Come in, Mrs. Marsh. Ah, thank you, Mrs. Marsh. All part of the service. Arthur? Uh, yes? I've been worried about you. You're always pacing up and down, half the night sometimes. Ah, I'm terribly sorry. Is it disturbing you? You disturb me, Arthur. You, you never go out in the evenings. You never bring anyone here. Haven't you any friends? A girlfriend? Well, um... To, uh, to tell you the truth, I mean, it's so corny, you won't believe it, but I've fallen in love with the, the boss's daughter. In fact, I've been in love with her for years. I mean, you should see her. She's absolute... Perfection. Dear. Is her family rich? Yes. Does she know? Well, how could she? I mean, we've never really met except in the office where I just gaze at her and, um, well, I can't, can't get near her. I don't know how to. And, well, after all, I'm really only the office boy. Well, people do get promotion. Well, I don't see much chance of that. I mean, I'm not really executive material. And even if I did, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know the, um, the right things to say to her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arthur. I, I'm too old-fashioned to advise you, but... Well, you could smarten yourself up a bit. Shareholder, no Hortons. Ah, I uh, wish I were. Uh, no, I do work there, though. How's the old place doing? I work there too, one rather brief. Ah, I uh, don't remember seeing you there. No, I was in the Brussels office, and I don't suppose anyone's encouraged to talk about it. A rather cloud, if you know what I mean. Lost on the oldest country. Charlie Prince. Oh, how do you do? Arthur Price. Yes. 
Only one letter between us. Prince and Price. Ah, oh, we did this. Big. Man. You don't even know how families used to ship their black sheep off to Australia or somewhere. Send them an allowance as long as they kept out of sight. Well, a family lawyer sends me a registered envelope, first of each month. Cash, they wouldn't allow me to open a bank account in case I write more bounces. So, uh, I get the lolly as long as I stay clear of the family circle and live under a false name. Ooh. Ah, it's better I'm giving you to see straight. Ah, bad day. Locked out. Pardon? Mm, locked out of my squalid hotel. Couldn't pay the bill. Ah, they won't let me have my luggage. So, where do I sleep tonight? In the park, I suppose. Look. Uh, look. Uh... Just to see you through, I have a room and a spare bed. My dear fellow, it's extremely good of you. The trouble is, I haven't even got a toothbrush, not unless I can get hold of my luggage. Well, now, how much do you owe the hotel? Two hundred and something pounds, and service confri. Well, now, look, I was saving up for uh, some clothes. Uh, but I could lend you that money until you receive your next registered envelope. That's in ten days' time. I'll, I'll repay you every penny. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll give you my share of the rent. Oh. <laughs> that used to belong to my great-grandfather. On my mother's side, it's the posh side. <laughs> he was ambassador somewhere. <laughs> it's uh, airtight, damp-proof. <sighs> and proof oh. I made up the bed for you, Mr. Prince. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you've got company at last, Arthur. Right. Uh, no, I try beer, but only for chasers. Ah. You won't see much of me in the evenings. The thing is, I'm pursuing a bird. She's uh, a bit short of brains, but absolutely loaded. <laughs> you still haven't told me. Uh, what? What you want of me in exchange for the loan and the bed. Ah, well, um, what I want of you is uh, what I haven't got. I mean, I suppose you'd call it... Uh, style, but uh, I thought if we were to share the room, you see, I, I thought some of it might rub off on me. I, not just the accent, I mean, well, uh, your way of doing things. Uh, that's just Eaton and Oxford. Took me seven years. Good act. I could pick it up in five minutes. And, and, and we're roughly about the same sort of size. I wondered if now and again I might um, uh, borrow your clothes. Never thought I'd be in the dress hire business. Uh, well, we uh, could take it off uh, off your share of the rent, you see. Rent? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Ah, hello. Um, are your fathers in the boardroom? Oh. It's a lovely day, isn't it? it yes. And uh, that's a very lovely dress. You like it? Well, I, I shouldn't say how much, not to my boss's daughter. <laughs> I do wish you wouldn't be so menial, Arthur. Yes. I'll, uh, I'll be presumptuous, then. I'd like to take you out. I have a copy of what's on in my office. I don't care what's on. Hmm. <sighs> what's on is as follows. At Studio One, a French film. At Studio Two, an Italian film. At the Cine Centre, a film described as the erotic experience of an era. 
There are also the um, Chinese acrobats, the Balinese dancers, Madame Butterfly, and, of course, the mousetrap. Arthur, I don't care what's on. I'd like you to take me out. Oh. Uh, well, um... What, Tuesday or Wednesday or... Tonight? Uh, uh tonight? <laughs> well, as Granny used to say, I must uh, powder my nose. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Postman! First of the month yesterday! <laughs> Just a letter for Mr. Prince. Uh, yes, yes, that's me. Yes. Sign, please. share of the rent next week. There's birds costing me the earth. Uh, well, um, about the, uh, 200 pound. What? I mean, um, uh, what about the 200 pound I lent you? Uh, can we leave that till next month? Well, someone owes me to. Look, uh, here's, um, 20 for expenses. Who's this girl of yours? I'm uh, not telling you. You don't laugh. Well, is he you're ashamed of her. <laughs> no, the opposite. Mm. Oh, you want to impress her? Yes. C could you... Uh... On a small budget. Yes. Mm. Well, to start with... Hang on, I'll... Yeah. Um... Wine. Everything decent is ruinous. You say they've a rather good house wine here. Flinty sort of burgundy. Care to try it? You can always send it back. It'll save your fiver. Taxis. Man who gets taxi always gets the girl. You go into the Ritz, by the Piccadilly entrance, go through the hotel, and out to the other entrance where there's a commissioner. He gets the taxi, and the girl is staggered by your insolence. Do I, um, do I tip the commissioner? Give the bastard 10p. The girl won't know it isn't 50. Could suggest some changes in your cabinet. Oh. Don't say toilet, say loo. Mm -hmm. Don't say serviette, say napkin. And for God's sake, don't say pardon. Say what? Fine. Well, the brakes below Fine. 70, we could have charged right, selling, but it's only I'll one. take one. Uh, we'll buy a thanks. hundred yeah, thousand You're very smart these days, aren't you? Well, fine. Uh, thank five you, sir. Against five, it's thanks to my Aunt Mary, sir. I was her sole heir. She was uh, rather well advised on her investments. Ooh. I'm glad for you. Thank you, sir.
take us slumming. They love it. And in any case, you know perfectly well that only senior partners are authorized to deal. I heard about this revolution on the early morning news. I dashed into the office at eight. There was absolutely no one here I could consult except the cleaners. And so I sent the telex on my own authority. You've landed us up to the neck in a deal that... John, can you spare it? No, no, no. Well, it looks as if your unauthorized telex has probably made us a great deal of money. Well done, Arthur. Uh, thank you, My bird's friend's got a place there. She's paying my fare. I'm sorry, but you'll have to manage without my wardrobe. I need it. A oh, hard luck. You can uh, have that suit and the shirt still at the laundry. You owe me five weeks' rent and the loan, 300 sodding pounds. I'll uh, send you a check. You've got no bank account, you told me. I need the clothes and I need the money. That's your problem. For me, it's uh, palm trees, white beaches, and the tinkle of ice in rum cocktails. Ooh. Prince has gone abroad, uh, and his damn trunk takes up far too much room. You, you might have hurt yourself or scratched the paint. Uh, no, there's no damage done. Um, Eleanor, I wondered if I could uh, put it in your cellar just for the time being. He wants it sent on, you see. Well, I, I hardly ever go down there. But I doubt if there's room. Uh, if the lock's awkward, I'll, uh, I'll let you in. Dent, really? he's German shrapnel. 
and he was killed by one of our own bombs. I hardly ever come down here. Too many memories. Charlie Prince? That's me. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're an angel. And he does deserve it. A register office wedding, I suppose? Yes. Neither of us go to church. Oh, good. That's easily arranged. Well, that's not quite how I saw it at all, sir. I saw Anne radiant in clouds of white, bridesmaids, the choir, the crowded church. In fact, I saw her with the best of everything. You do want the best for your daughter, sir. Of course. Of course, that is a way of putting it. Um, and it would be an opportunity to get together and celebrate as a family. Daddy. Let's ask all the family. It's all right this time, I'll go. Oh, good evening. We've called to see Mr. Prince, Charles Prince. All right. I understand he's gone abroad. Did he leave a forwarding address? Not with me. Mm -hmm. Won't you come in a moment? Thank you. Arthur, it's a gentleman to see Mr. Prince. Arthur is a friend of Mr. Prince. I'm sure he'll be able to help you. Such a nice man. They share the first floor flat. Well, that is until Mr. Prince went abroad. He did leave a trunk. It's in the cellar. Arthur! You live here too? We've come to see Charlie. He's my brother. We used to call him Prince Charlie. Bonnie Prince Charlie. Strange. No forwarding address. I'd like to see that trunk. <laughs> 